Most states do not have a used car lemon law. Well, a lemon law usually protects the customer on a new car purchase. In other words, if it has a lot of problems and issues, oftentimes a consumer is allowed to bring a car back. In many cases, that lemon law does not exist. You'll need to be familiar with your rights by state by state before you sign that dotted line. And don't be so foolish. Many customers are penny wise and a pound foolish. They're willing to spend thousands of dollars for a used car and spend hundreds of dollars per month to drive it, but foolishly will not spend approximately $14 up front to get a vehicle history report from such companies as Carfax or Experience Auto Check. These reports, while not foolproof by any means, can offer a great deal of information about the history of a vehicle you're thinking about buying. These reports can divulge information such as previous branding, in other words, was it in a flood? Was there any kind of damage from uh, Hurricane Katrina or Sandy? Odometer rollback, salvage title. You know, it gives you a really good explanation of the vehicle identification number and the ownership history. Was it ever involved in an accident at all? Was it a police car or taxi? Does it have fake airbags? Some dealerships offer this history report at no charge to you. But some dealers will ask you to pay. Pay the money, it's worth the investment. Now let's talk about the FTC Used Car Buyer's Guide. That's a guide that explains your rights on purchasing and warranties, and it's not available through private owners. You have the right to take that used car you're interested in to your own private mechanic under the FTC. In the next segment, we'll go through a very thorough step-by-step walk-around process that could very well give you a shopping edge and perhaps even teach your own mechanic or thing or two about buying a used car. In the meantime, you must understand that many individuals, both private and legitimate business persons, don't think twice about unethical business practices. And oftentimes, cars and trucks will cross state lines from one area that was heavily flooded to another state where unsuspecting consumers end up buying a vehicle that was once underwater. Thousands of vehicles were flooded during Hurricane Katrina and Sandy and have ended up in unsuspecting hands. A quick check of the vehicle you're looking at can give you clues as to whether or not it was once underwater. For example, look for water lines on the engine radiator, wheel wells, and so on. Does the vehicle smell musty? Is the vehicle old with high mileage but has brand new carpeting and upholstery? Get a mirror. Mine might have one in a purse and look under the front seat for rusty springs and metal parts. Look at air intakes and see if you find leaves and other debris in the air filter area. Now, don't look at used cars at night when you're ready to make the final decision. You want to look at in a daylight hours where you can see the flaws and how the paint is and so on and so forth. Check the VIN number. Then look for other VIN numbers throughout the vehicle. Do they match? Beware of scam alerts where some parts have been interchanged because the numbers don't match.